this is a tobacco that I spoke about, um, I think it was last August, gave it a little review, it's a lovely tobacco, it's a uh, Gareth Hogarth's Exmoor, it's based on the, on the legendary, uh, the fabled Exmoor Hunt which was made by Ogden's and it's it's quite a quite a, an apt thing that I'm doing tonight, which is smoking it in an Ogden's pipe. So that's pretty traditional. I've not actually got the the original Exmoor Hunt, which I probably had years ago, but I can't remember. But I've got an Ogden's pipe with a, an Ogden's based tobacco, which is now made by Gareth Hogarth. If I can think on, I'll put the link to the uh, the, the the better video. Uh, the review of this tobacco und underneath this one but um, it really is a nice tobacco it's got um, it's got a touch of the tack here uh, Virginia uh, there seems to be some sort of um, query about whether the it's got Burley or Cavendish because some makers say some tobacconists should say and shops online say it's it's Cavendish some say it's Burley I tend to think there's more of a might have both I don't know but I tend to think that there's more Burley rather than Cavendish in it so I don't know could be wrong but whatever it's nice lovely medium strength tobacco sort of um, easy going tobacco uh, I, I need to sort this one out actually I've had it in the jar and I don't think the jar was it was very airtight unfortunately, uh, so I, I, I hydrated it and I think I've overdone it a bit because it's a little bit of dampness, M might get it going in a bit but uh, you, you've got to get the, the the level of hydration just right with tobacco as you probably know. If it's too too damp then it's not going to burn and if it's too dry it's going to go like uh, like tinder wood and burn in no time. So um, I might need to go back on this one, I don't know, I've got a feeling I'll get it going soon. But while I'm talking, I'm not that bothered. It's an absolutely boring night tonight. Don't know if you can hear it out there. We've got uh, what they're calling Storm Gareth seems to have arrived. It's uh, another storm. We're getting one storm after another. It's crazy. I was on the beach with my son the other night and we walked out a few miles to the, the low tide mark and it, it was dark. It was really, really bad. Uh, hailstones were coming down. They were battering us, we had hats on and everything of course, coats, but they were still catching your face, they were like little knives cutting your face and battering the backs of your legs, it was horrible but still, it was great to be out so anyway, we're looking forward to more of this for a few days by the look of it, with uh, gusts up to 65 mile an hour so it's going to do a bit of damage probably but still it's the, uh, it's the old blue hag of winter I suppose hanging on, you know, before Spring really sets in good style, although we have had the snowdrops and we've had the well, some crocuses and daffodils, so I've seen a bit of colour. It's early days yet though, it's only March. Anyway, I'm going to get back to this uh, this lovely Exmoor now, and thanks for watching guys. See you soon, bye bye.